There's always that famous question, why do men cheat and why do women cheat? So this video is actually going to answer that question. And also, if you're married or you're also planning to get married, then this video is specially designed for you. Because I have a segment here of uh, Prophet Lovi and what he's actually speaking about uh, marriage and also the role of sex in marriage and what exactly it does for you very profound so make sure you watch this video until the end because this video is actually wisdom packed video this video will save your marriage that is about to happen or the marriage that is actually in existence so watch out for that so i just want to lay a foundation of uh, this uh this broadcast before we get into the video and i'll do that with a verse of the bible that is in the book of first corinthians 7 3 to 5 and the bible says let the husband render to his wife the affection due her and likewise also the wife to her husband the wife does not have authority over her own body but the husband does and likewise the husband does not have authority over his own body but the wife does do not deprive one another except with consent for a time that you may give yourself with fasting and prayer and come together again so that satan does not tempt you because of your lack of self-control wow you know sometimes uh depriving your man or depriving your woman may lead them just to lack self-control and that definitely leads to a lot of adultery uh, the fornication the fornicating and everything but you see the root cause is not uh that they are they are have a lustful spirit or any of that that is not the root cause the root cause is the depriving them of what ex what actually they should be having because the bible says let the husband render to his wife the affection due her and likewise also the wife to her husband <laughs> that is just one bible verse that's actually straight to the point so i'll be playing uh this segment by prophet lovi your house uh, Let's get to it. I, I don't feel like I've just been very tired. I've just been. You're abusing this man. I love what Dr. Miles Monroe said. He said, men don't want sex. Men need. <laughs> if you are married, that's part of the deal. Whether that's you like it, you deal. don't like. Where are my brothers? Where are my brothers? Hallelujah. Where? Hallelujah. Can I talk to some married men in the house? It is what it is. It's the truth. Now that guy is so happy right there. <laughs> let me just tell you the truth. I, I know us, I'm sir. talking about the satisfaction of the soul, but I'm, let me tell you the truth. Tell us. Do you realize about 90% of marital problems are sex? Wow. Listen, I do counseling of a lot of people I know. 90% of it is sex. Mm. Thank you. Apostle, my bishop, <laughs> say it, please. Let the spirit lead you. You're preaching. It's the truth. Most of these problems are there because you are not intimate with your spouse. Mm. Sex was not just created for pleasure. It was created for bonding. Oh. It was created for bonding. Mm. When you were in the beginning, you're bonding. You started having children, building a life. You forgot about bonding. And then you're wondering why you're arguing all the time. I always say this. Your children were the fruit of that love. They are not the center of that love. If you make that child the center of it, you have idolized them. And you have destroyed the institution of God. It doesn't mean our children are not important. But they are not as important as the two of you. I wish I got better claps. Maybe I'm being appreciated somewhere else. If you're married, have lots of sex. It will change your marriage. Amen. Wow. Hello. If you're Hello. married, somewhere else. Sex. If you're married, have lots have of lots sex. Of it will sex. change, your, change marriage. your marriage. Amen. Hello. Hello. Where are my married folk? Please wave your hands. Hallelujah. If a husband wants to lay with his wife, she says no. If she wants it and he says no, they have, am I not beautiful enough? Am I not, not this enough? It breaks them. Mm. It destroys a woman. But it's easy to do it to the man because we are expected to be strong. 
Then when some some sugar baby with a demon shows up with a Jezebel and he feels validated, you start saying the devil came after my marriage. No, it is you. He Blame married you. And you fail to fulfill your part. Let me let me keep my mouth shut. I'll get myself in trouble. <laughs> Somebody shall fire! Yeah, 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 yeah. Let, let, let me. Amazing. So uh, there's a statement there that he made, and he said that uh, if you're married, have lots of sex because it will change you. And uh, he said that it's uh, sex actually creates that bonding, and that's very true because the Bible says that uh, when the two now become one, so through sex. Uh, you create that that firm bonding and also he said pleasure so here are also some other reasons like for example physical health as well some of these reasons are scientifically proven but now we're speaking about sex in a marriage setup so here i'm not talking i'm not talking to people to fornicators and everything i'm speaking about marriage the the god allowed uh the god allowed sex that is the sex that i'm talking about so there are some of the advantages to these apart from bonding and pleasure. There's also the physical health. So it can improve your cardiovascular health, boost the immune system, lower blood pressure, and promote better sleep. And you've been seeing currently there's been a lot of issues uh, uh, with a lot of people are getting a very high blood pressure. So apart from the sugars that we are supposed to regulate and our diet and everything, let me tell you, we still have a solution in us. Just by us getting uh, the right person, having the right person that we are married to, and also uh, fulfilling our marital, our marital needs for each other. So the second one is emotional well-being. Like you've heard uh, the prophet say that when, when, for example, you deprive the wife and then now she started, uh, you started lowering her self-esteem. So she's like, am I beautiful enough? Am I not beautiful enough? So those are some of the dangers, but the benefit side is that uh, emotional well-being. So sex can enhance mood, reduce stress and anxiety, and increase feelings of intimacy and connection with a partner. Just think about it. So hormonal balance. So uh, if you're having problems with uh, a lot of hormonal uh, bal imbalances in your body and you're a married couple, definitely just have more sex so it helps regulate hormone levels including uh, endorphins extrophins and dopamine which can contribute to feelings of pleasure and satisfaction so number four is that relationship satisfaction so without sex definitely your relationship uh, that marriage can be full of a lot of gaps there can be a lot of cheating because of lack of self-control as the bible has said as the prophet has said so engaging in sex can strengthen emotional bonds and increase feelings of closeness and trust between partners so pain relief so guns uh, orgasms releases endorphins which can act as natural pain killers and alleviate discomfort think about it god has given us natural pain killers if we just follow the god uh, that is the God sex. If we follow God sex, that is sex in marriage. So improved self-esteem, positive sexual experience can boost self-confidence and body image. Uh, number seven is that sex is also an exercise. So sex can be a form of physical activity, burning calories and promoting overall fitness. <laughs> Think about it. And then uh, the final one is better sleep. The release of hormones during sex such as oxytocin and uh, that can promote relaxation and help with failing asleep better so for those people who have those uh, sleeping problems so if you're married definitely you understand why you have the sleeping problems you might be the one depriving your wife or uh, your wife is the one depriving you so the word of god is given to us for correction and as the bible says that we be attained to be that perfect man that God wants us to be. And he has given us all the solution. Think about it. He has given us natural painkillers. He has given us ways that we can naturally burn even calories. He's given us ways which we can build our self-confidence just by us not depriving each other of what uh, the God marriage and the God sex is supposed to be. So I would like to, I would love to hear what you think about this definitely on the comment section. Uh, if this video has been a blessing to you and you have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button immediately. 
give this video a like so that it can be recommended to many more around the world but let us not forget let us not forget i'm just going to uh, throw in um i'm just going to throw in one last verse that just so that i'll be able to sum everything up because it's very very important uh, just a minute here it's actually in the book of hebrews let's go to hebrews uh, 13 and verse 4 hebrews 13 4 so this is how we are going to sum this up so that i might not i might not be misquoted out of line so that we're very sure on what exactly we are speaking about here so just go to hebrews 13 4. so this is what the bible says marriage is honorable among all and the bed and defiled you see, marriage is honorable among all in the bed undefiled. So that one, that bed is undefiled. That one, God accepts it. God has a tick to it. That is God, uh, that, that is God ordained sex and God ordained, yes, that is God ordained sin. And then it says, but fornicators and adulterers, God will judge. You see that? So any other sex that is definitely uh, outside says marriage is honorable among all and the bed and defiled but fornicators and adulterers god will judge that is what the scriptures are saying today see that that is 13 4. so um what i want to say is that any sex that is outside the setting of marriage that one falls under the bat falls under the bat doesn't matter how perfect you feel it is, how awesome you think it is, if it is uh, not on the first line, because marriage is honorable among all and the bed and defiled. But for the caters and adulterers, God will judge. So that is how we are going to sum up this video today. With the but for the caters and adulterers, God will judge. So enjoy sex, but enjoy sex in marriage. That is the God kind of. Sex. See you in the next video. Stay blessed.